welcome to Catoctin Mountain Park. My name is Sabrina and in this video I'll be taking you on a tour of Catoctin's east side. The east side of Catoctin Mountain Park is home to our visitor center, our cabin camps, and the east side long loop trails. The long loop trails are full of spectacular views and beautiful landmarks. Now remember, Catoctin Mountain Park is located on, well, a mountain. So you'll want to bring sturdy, closed-toed hiking shoes and plenty of water, even if you're going on one of the easy trails. If you'd like to learn about one specific landmark or trail, then you can go to one of these timestamps here. If you'd like to learn about the entire east side, then keep watching and come with me. The first stop on our tour is the Yellow Blaze Loop. The Yellow Blaze Loop is about 4.6 miles long and is marked with rectangular yellow blazes, like you see on the tree behind me. The Yellow Loop features three main points of interest, Cunningham Falls, Hog Rock, and Blue Ridge Summit Vista. Starting from the gravel lot just west of the Visitor Center, you can take a detour onto Blue Blazes Whiskey Still Trail. The Blue Blazes Whiskey Still Trail is a short, flat trail that takes about 20 minutes to hike round trip. It is unmarked, but runs parallel to a small stream that feeds into Big Hunting Creek. The trail's namesake, the Blue Blazes Whiskey Still, was raided in 1929. When the dust settled, police found an industrial-sized operation, the largest moonshine still found in Frederick County during Prohibition. The raid also resulted in the tragic and mysterious death of a local deputy sheriff, Clyde Hover. You can learn more about the cold case of Blue Blazes and see a small replica whiskey still exhibit on the trail. Now that we've seen Blue Blazes, let's get started on the Yellow Trail. Come on! The first part of the Yellow Loop is commonly called the Cunningham Falls Nature Trail. Though the Yellow Loop is the least strenuous of the three long loop trails, it is still very hilly and rocky. Make sure you're wearing sturdy, closed-toed shoes before setting out. About 1.2 miles down the trail, you'll see a disabled parking lot across Route 77. To the right of this parking lot, you'll find the entrance to the boardwalk that will take you to Cunningham Falls. After you cross the road, the boardwalk entrance will be on your left. Remember, always look both ways before crossing. At 78 feet tall, Cunningham Falls is the highest cascading waterfall in the state of Maryland. Catoctin Mountain Park shares the falls with the neighboring Cunningham Falls State Park. You can even see their own viewing boardwalk right across the way. In order to prevent injury and protect the fragile plants surrounding the falls, visitors from both parks are asked to remain on the boardwalk areas at all times. This means there is no way to get from this location to the state park. Never fear though. The Cunningham Falls State Park Lake area is located just a short drive away from the Catoctin Mountain Park Visitor Center. You can pay them a visit after your hike. Back across Route 77, about a mile up the mountain, you'll reach Hog Rock. At 1,610 feet above sea level, Hog Rock is located at one of the highest accessible elevations in the park. Before Catoctin was a national park, this land was primarily used as farmland. Hog Rock was a popular grazing location for pigs. The nearby oak and beech trees provided plenty of food, and the hogs would sun themselves on the large, flat rock outcropping. Also at Hog Rock is the Hog Rock Nature Trail, a half-mile detour off the Yellow Loop that labels the trees and plants that make up Catoctin Mountain Park's second-growth forest. The final point of interest on the Yellow Loop is the Blue Ridge Summit Vista. Blue Ridge Summit is located at 1,520 feet above sea level and offers a gorgeous view into Pennsylvania. Once you pass Blue Ridge Summit, the Yellow Loop concludes with a two-mile hike down the mountain and back to the visitor center. The second long loop trail on the east side is the Pink Loop, also known as the Thermont Vista Loop. Unlike the other long loop trails on the east side, the Thermont Vista Loop is not accessible from the visitor center. You'll have to park here at the Thermont Vista parking lot, which is about a mile drive from the visitor center. The 
pink loop is significantly shorter than the yellow and orange loop at just 2.6 miles, and is moderate throughout. After a half mile climb up a steep trail marked by pink blazes, you'll reach Thermont Vista. Thermont Vista is located just under 1,500 feet above sea level, and features a gorgeous view of the town of Thermont, Maryland. Once you leave Thermont Vista, you're in for a lovely mile-long hike along the ridge. This section of trail is mostly flat with beautiful scenery, making the Pink Loop a wonderful alternative for beginner hikers, or those looking for a loop trail that takes under two hours to complete. Also accessible from the Thermont Vista parking lot is the Charcoal Nature Trail. The Charcoal Nature Trail is a half-mile loop trail marked by triangular pink blazes, much like the ones you'll see on Hog Rock Nature Trail. The trail contains informational waysides and exhibits meant to teach visitors about the history of charcoal production on the mountain. The charcoal produced at Catoctin helped fuel the town of Thermont, then called Mechanicsville's, iron industry. You can learn even more about the area's iron industry at the historic Catoctin Iron Furnace, located in Cunningham Falls State Park. If you're looking for a challenge, you're looking for the third and final long loop trail on the east side, the Orange Loop. The Orange Loop is blazed with rectangular orange blazes and is home to our two most prominent rock formations, Chimney Rock and Wolf Rock. Though it's a little shorter than the Yellow Loop at just four miles, the Orange Loop is the most strenuous hike Catoctin Mountain Park has to offer. You'll want to come prepared with proper footwear, hiking gear, and plenty of water. Maybe even some trail snacks, as long as you're prepared to take your trash out with you. Let's get started! If you start the Orange Loop by walking up the stone steps to the east of the VC, you'll be getting the hardest part over with first. The terrain between the VC and Wolf Rock is both incredibly rocky and a steep uphill climb, nearly 500 feet up in just one mile. When you finally finish the steep uphill portion of the hike, you'll have arrived at Wolf Rock, a rock formation characterized by its animal-like silhouette. You may want to take a breather before stepping off the orange trail and making your way to the viewing area. Wolf Rock is located at the end of a challenging boulder scramble. The scramble to Wolf Rock includes deep crevices you may have to step over, so be wary if you're afraid of heights. Watch your step and keep an eye on your fellow hikers, especially children. Once you depart from Wolf Rock, the next stop on your hike will be Chimney Rock. The trail to Chimney Rock is surprisingly flat compared to the steep road to Wolf Rock, giving you a great opportunity to cool down. In just half a mile, you'll reach Chimney Rock, a rock formation that resembles a chimney. Another draw of Chimney Rock is its beautiful view of the valley. Chimney Rock will be your last stop before heading down the mountain, so it's a great place to take a break, have a snack, and enjoy the scenery. Though both Chimney Rock and Wolf Rock are fun to explore, they can be potentially dangerous if you're not careful. From one angle, it looks like the rock pillars at Chimney Rock are close together. However, the crevices are wider and deeper than they look, and there have been several accidents leading to injuries at this location. Chimney Rock is also a favorite sunning spot for timber rattlesnakes, one of Catoctin's two species of venomous snakes. Timber rattlers are very timid and are unlikely to bite unless someone steps on them. Mind your step in rocky areas where they may be hiding. From Chimney Rock, it's a little over two miles back to the visitor center. You might notice that some white blazes have started appearing on the trees alongside the orange ones. These white blazes mark the Gateway Trail, a 1.4 mile detour loop that splits off from the orange loop. The Gateway Trail will take you down to Big Hunting Creek. It also splits off into a mile long one way trail to the Lewis Property Pond. Both the creek and the pond are popular fly fishing spots. Just make sure you have a current Maryland fishing license. That's about it for the east side of the park. Thanks so much for coming along on this virtual tour with me. There's plenty more to see and discover here, so if you can make it out, we'd love to have you visit. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a visit at the Visitor Center, or you can give us a call at this number. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you out on the trails.